Holy cow, man. You guys aren't gonna fucking believe this. Ugh. Oh, so I've been trying to beat this boss for a while. Um, the Daughter of Cosmos or whatever this is. And I just stopped my HD recorder to uh, reset it. And I it inadvertently went back down here to fight the boss. And I never turned on my recorder. So I just now beat that boss. And I didn't get anything on film. So that sucks. That really sucks, man. Um... Let me show you, though. I'll show you proof that I beat the damn thing. Man, that sucks. That's horrible. I can't believe that. There it is, right there. So only 5.8% of the people playing this game right now have received this trophy. And I just beat the boss. It was a good boss fight. I actually killed it pretty quickly this time. Um, I had died. I don't know. I probably died like 10 times, man. I had a tough time against this, uh, this thing. I just couldn't figure it out. This time I got uh, a couple critical hits in early on and I was able to take it out um god that sucks man I am so disappointed in myself that uh that I did not record that um I'm actually really bummed man and there's there's no way that I could go back and redo it I don't think I'd want to redo it anyway but that's just horrible man I can't believe that um I also got a chalice I got another chalice so I got I got all of the chalices that I was supposed to get. I got three of them. This is the last one. I got that chalice of is, and right now this trophy is very very rare as well. Only five percent of the people playing the game have uh, received this trophy. So that's pretty cool. Um, as you can see, I've beat. I mean, these are all the bosses I've beat. I beat uh, the daughter of Cosmos. The Celestial Emissary, Logarius, Amingdala, Dark Beast Paro, The Witch of Hemwick, Blood Starved Beast, Cleric Beast, um, Mikolash, Host of the Nightmare, The One Reborn, Rom the Spider, Shadow of Yarnum, Vicar Amelia, Father Gasconi, or whatever the hell his name is. And I have a couple more bosses to beat. I need to beat the Wet Nurse boss, which is going to be my next target. But, man, I am so disappointed in myself. I can't believe that I did that. Let's go light this lamp. Holy cow, man. That's just... I'm just so disappointed in myself right now. I can't believe that. Okay, so that's the way out. Um, is there anything else in here? Okay. So this thing says that I can ex inspect it, but it says do nothing. So, I bet you I could do something with this if I had, if I had something. Alright, so, as I was saying, I had to cut that video short because, uh, my family just walked in. I'm not done, uh, recording this video just yet, so I need to wrap this up, um, but as I was saying, so it looks like I could do something with that, but maybe I don't have what I need to activate this. I don't know. This looks like a head of one of those things on the sides of the building. Whatever this is, they worship this thing, man. It's like a god to them. Um, it's really odd. God, man, I am so... 
I can't believe I did that. That's the one boss that you guys aren't going to see uh, footage of me beating. Um, basically how I beat it, I, I used my axe the whole time. I equipped uh, bolt paper because apparently um, electricity damage um, does more damage to this boss. And I mean it was nothing fancy, I just went in close to it, I mean it's just, it, it's this big giant boss. Um, I will, I will load um, some of my some of my fails so you guys can at least see what this boss um, looked like. And man, I'm so disappointed. I can't believe that. I'm just still, man. God, I'm so frustrated in myself right now. And I'm sorry I keep repeating that, but I'm. It's just it sucks. All right, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm actually gonna get out of here. I can't get out that way. I need to use this lamp and get back to the hunter's dream. Yeah, I mean, there were, there were a couple times where I walked in the room and that thing just flattened me right away and killed me, just insta-kill. And like I said, I will, um, I will edit together some of my fail videos so you could at least get a look at that boss, um, if you haven't seen it before. Um, other than that, so that takes care of that area. I beat both bosses in the upper cathedral and I took care of everything here. I took care of everything here. There's nothing else to do over there. The only thing left for me to do is to go here. I need to go to Murgo's Loft middle and I need to fight the wet nurse. I need to beat her and then once I beat her I could go and take on the final boss of this game. Um, and actually I will get a piece of umbilical cord from from the wet nurse boss and by getting that piece of umbilical cord I should be able to fight a secret boss. So. We'll see what happens here at the end of the game. But here what here are what my stats look like. I'm level 90. My weapon deals 422 damage. Um, vitality is 30. Endurance 28. Strength is 42. Skill is 25. Blood Tinge and Arcane. I did not upgrade either one of those the entire playthrough. Um, I didn't really know what they did. Apparently, if you upgrade those, you could use um, certain types of weapons and some different things in the game that you pick up. Here's a quick look at all the items that I've picked up. I mean, I have a lot of stuff. And here's what I'm talking about. You need, you need these items. You need um, these umbilical cords. You need three of these to fight a secret, I guess it's like a secret moon boss or something. After you beat uh, the final boss, there's another boss after that. But only if you have these three pieces of the umbilical cord. So I'll, I'll find out uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow most likely I'll fight uh, this final boss and end this game. It's been a long journey, man. I put a lot of hours into this game so far. And... Here are all the keys that I have. I've picked up a lot of stuff in this game. The only key that I haven't used that I don't know what it opens. I'll show you. This one. I don't know what door this iron door key opens. It says of the three great bridges that link the two cathedral cradles this key opens the iron door that leads to the mid-level bridge um i'm not sure what's that uh what what's that talking about i mean i don't i don't i don't really understand um where this area is but 
And here are my chalices. So I got three chalices in the game. I just picked up this chalice from, from beating that uh, Daughter of the Cosmos boss. So that is what I have. And I have quite a few runes that I've picked up. So yeah, I mean, that's that. I mean, there's nothing else really that I want to do in the game. I mean, I still... I mean, I could open up some more dungeons now that I have a couple more uh, chalices and stuff like that. Um, I haven't uh, really dived too deep into the dungeons just because it's a whole separate thing. And I just want to beat uh, beat the main game before I jump into the, into the dungeon portion. At any rate... Um, so that was my boss battle that never was, is what I'm going to call this video. Um, I beat the boss. I know I beat the boss. I just don't have any video footage of me beating the boss. But basically, all it was, I mean, it was like every other big boss that I fought. Every other big boss that I fought, I just get in close to it, and I beat the crap out of it until it dies. And that is all I did with this boss, you know. Um, nothing special. Um... That's it. Um, thank you so much for watching. When we come back, when you join me next time, we will be heading to the last part of the game I need to go to. I need to head to Murgo's Loft, and I probably should have done this part a long time ago, but uh, this kind of fell, fell by the wayside. I need to go fight the wet nurse boss, and then we will conclude Bloodborne. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Have a great night or day, depending on when you're checking out this video.